guys, it's LBS Honey and welcome to a new video. Anyway, today I have a little unboxing and kind of comparison for you guys. I came across this product called Pet Rescue and I was pretty intrigued by it because I think it's just another, you know, run-of-the-mill blind box animal surprise ball. But I was really interested to see if the accessories would fit LPS and just kind of how they compared to LPS because they seemed like a very similar size. And from what I can see, the whole series was medical themed, which actually fits in pretty well with a lot of horror tropes in my videos. So let's see what they're like. Here's what it looks like. My camera's kind of having trouble focusing on this ball for some reason, but we have this little dog illustration, pet rescue, and then five magic reveal and heal surprises to find. So let's open it up. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of tired of these ball surprises. There's just so much plastic, it's so much waste. I understand the gimmick and that it kind of deters like shoplifting because they're so difficult to open, but still. Here is our ball. So, oh god. Um, I'm just gonna like. Uh. So, we have a collector's guide here, and these are actually pretty cute. I actually quite like the designs. And then we have like the rare one at the bottom. I don't know if I've kind of spoiled it for myself, and this is the dog we've gotten. I don't know. But if so, cute little pug. Um, and then it gives you like some instructions on like the water features and stuff like that. I'm just gonna wing it and figure it out as I go. I'm gonna assume the dog's in here. So I'm gonna open up the little ones first. We have, I have no idea, what is that? I'm not even sure what this could be. Like there's no indication to me what this is. Okay, behind door number two. Oh, we have a little syringe and I think these are stickers. So we have these stickers here and they're actually pretty cool because they, they are stickers, but on this side, it's kind of like printed on fabric. So they have a bit of a texture to them. So the band-aid feels like a proper band-aid. Here's a little comparison between the iconic LPS band-aids and it is a little bigger, but I do prefer these ones because it has like that realistic texture to it. It would be cool if it was like a multi-pack so you got a few like this one but yeah it, it's pretty cool and then we also got this syringe which I'm actually really excited about because the liquid inside actually moves which is so cool to me like it's an interactive piece I don't know I just think that's a really cool feature and you can kind of see like it kind of disappears a bit like you are injecting something which is awesome. It reminds me of those baby bottles. If any of you guys remember them, like they used to baffle me so much when I was a kid because I was like, where is the liquid going? Hello? But overall, this is a really cool accessory. And uh, I don't know if you get a syringe with every single pack, but if you do, it could be a pretty awesome like little collection. Maybe they do different colors. I'm not sure because I only bought one, but I might have to pick up some more now if this is what the accessory quality is like. Door number three, we have, oh, a little cone. This is a little cone for your animal's head, usually a dog, but you can put it on anything really. And I really wanna see if this fits LPS because LPS do already have a cone. Um, it is a white one and I will do a comparison, but let's try this on a normal G2 LPS and just see if it fits. So it took a little wiggling, but I got there and it's definitely uh, the cone of shame. Um, but you kind of, I don't know, the face is a bit restricted. If I compare this to the always iconic LPS version that I have here, you can still see the LPS's face very clearly and then the cone is more kind of like at the back where this one is like the cones the whole thing which is more realistic but i don't know i feel like this one would still be better for lps videos but you could definitely use it it still fits get out of here and still fits lps fine and this brings us to our final little pocket here which is the actual animal so oh i didn't get the pug okay interesting quick little side note these pieces here are meant to clip into the bowl to hold it up as kind of like a bath if you want to do the water effect on your pet i won't be doing that because it's not the point of this video but if that's something you're interested in that's what these are for so this is waxen go off um it's taller than i expected definitely it reminds me a bit of a great dane i don't know if that's the exact breed or not because they don't really tell you anywhere but just going off looks and of course the height of it that's what i'd guess it has this cute little collar on but it is like permanently 
attached. However, it's made out of a rubber material, so you probably could cut it off if you wanted to use it for your LPS. Just like make an incision at the back and you're good to go. You can move the head and of course the legs, so there's that. And she has these scars on her, which is part of the like water feature and just pet rescue in general. Here she is compared to an LPS Great Dane and they're quite similar sizes. Wags in here is a bit taller and the body is also taller in general, but the LPS has a bigger head so they kind of even each other out with height. Um, but they look really cute next to each other. The pet rescue definitely has like a cuter, less realistic look going on, but I'm not mad about it. This is actually one of the better like pet animal items that I've seen and I've shown a lot that are kind of like competing with LPS and this is probably one of the better ones that I've gotten. You guys know I'm always honest when it comes to these and I of course bought this with my own money but I'm actually kind of liking this one so I, I think it's pretty good. I, I think it cost me about $9 which isn't too bad. An average LPS in Australia, a single pack would usually cost $5 but you don't really get any accessories with it. You maybe got like one piece of food or a collar. Whereas this, you get, you know, the band-aids, you get the little water feature, you get a built-in collar, and you also get the needle. Oh, and the cone as well. So you actually get quite a lot for the $9. Again, I'm not saying that this is better than LPS in any way. Like, LPS are still, like, leagues better than this, in my opinion. But it's still a cute little pet. Um, you could always customize it to look more LPS-like. And, of course, the accessories are always useful, especially the interactive needle is personally my favorite just for the kind of videos I do. I think it would be very handy. But overall, it's not bad. I usually go into these expecting that they'll be bad, but this one's good. So, I recommend it to you guys if you're looking for some cool accessories for your LPS, or you just want a new little pet to add to your ever-growing animal collection. This could be a cool alternative while we wait for LPS to come back next year. Something else I wanted to mention is I think that this could be a good thing like competition for LPS especially as they're coming back next year could be great for just like competitive prices, designs, everything like that. Like if you're the only animal product like out there, the only small little animal collectible you don't really need to worry, but if there's other competing brands, you need to make sure that your prices are cheap, your designs are cute and like unique, and you, you give the people what they want. So if this like pet rescue brand continues, I really hope that Hasbro and Basic Fun take note, and that kind of pushes them to be more competitive about releasing LPS, like releasing them in more countries, releasing them at a cheaper price, which they've already said they're doing, and just hopefully being really unique and creative with the designs and sets they do, because if not, people are just going to get Pet Rescue because they're cheap and cute. Of course, that's just what I think, and maybe it won't be as competitive, but I really hope it will be because that, in general, I think will help LPS as a brand and will just help the collectors as well because we'll be given a bigger range hopefully and more accessibility to our new pets. Nobody beats the OG though baby get the hell out of here bozo. Okay that was a little harsh I apologize. Not really LBS are the best. LBS is still my favorite and they will always be but it was cute so I'll give them that and I like the accessories. I'll definitely do some research and see if there are different colored syringes because if so your girl might have to get another one, um, but I'll let you know somewhere on screen if there are or not. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, and that's about all. I hope you enjoyed. Hope it was helpful, like always, with my little unboxings and reviews. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like always, please don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe. And I will see you next time with a new video. Bye guys!